Hey, what is up, my real fam? It's Queen Bay, but you can call me Debbie, and this video was an exciting video, not only because I'm talking about the cringy things that I do trying to get guys to like me, but it's a collaboration with some of the people on YouTube, some people, friends of mine that on YouTube that I've been friends with pretty much since I started this channel and probably like mid-August, not even, maybe a bit later, maybe like September, beginning of September, I've been talking to them for like a good two and a half months and we've gotten fairly close I would say and they are actually like really cool real people that I really enjoy talking to and it's really nice to have like buddies on YouTube that like motivate you to like keep uploading and stuff like that but yeah I'm doing collaboration with them with Danny, Julie, Janelle and Dominique I'll link all their channels in the description all their videos in the description so go check out the videos after you're done watching this one if you enjoy me I think you'll like them our collaboration basically, as you can tell my title, is going to be about crush related relationship type things. Not specific relationship, more about past tense crushes or things we did as a, like, a child with our crushes kinda idea. They're all doing videos around that realm, but I decided to talk about just cringy things that I've done trying to get guys to like me that every time have miserably failed. So if anything, this is more of a not advice video, advice on what not to do. So this could still help you maybe. So. I really like that video. And don't forget to check out my social media if you ever want to like just see my social media. I leave my Twitter and my Instagram in the description all the time. My Twitter I'm actually somewhat active on and my Instagram I literally post maybe once every three months. But that might change maybe but knowing me probably not but yeah. So let's get into the video. Okay so this first thing that I did trying to get a guy that's like me happened in about grade one. This is, I think this was like my first ever, ever, ever crush. I don't know what other people's like first crush age was, but this is when mine happened. I guess, I don't think I liked anyone before then, but this is my first like what I would call a crush. And I'm gonna say his name because it doesn't really change his name, but his name was Paul. Anyone from middle school probably knows what I'm talking about. I don't know his last name, but I know his first name was Paul. And uh, I had a crush on him. And uh, so did my best friend at the time. Does it matter if I say names? Uh, uh, I'm gonna call, I'm not gonna give her a fake. Actually, no, I'll use real names. Her name was Kiara. And me and Kiara both like Paul for whatever reason. I don't know, not anything wrong with Paul. We just like Paul. And then we talked about it. And then we're like, you know, it's a great idea. And I'm like, what? We were like, because we both liked him, we're like, how about we both tell him that we like him and see who he keeps? This is honestly how I'd go about the situation now because I'm literally like a petty, competitive hoe, but at that time, I was still like this. So we were in the library one day during school, obviously, picking out books or whatever, and we saw Paul, so we're like, let's go up to him. And then I'm like, Paul, I like you. And then Kiara was like, Paul. I like you too. And Paul just stood there and, and like at the moment we looked at the Mr. Krabs, you know, like the kind of like, kind of like, you know, the Mr. Krabs meme face. And then he went back and forth for about a good five minutes saying, hey, he was like, okay, to Kiara and me, like back and forth. He's like, okay, I keep you and I dump you. I keep you. I keep you. What did I keep you mean? I keep you and I dump you. And then one of us would be like, hey, he's like, okay, fine, I keep you and I dump you. He went back and forth maybe five times. I don't know who he ended up keeping. If it was me, Paul, if you're watching this, um, I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you because it's been 16 years, not 16. It's been like six years and I haven't talked to you in forever. And I, we never even officially dated. So I'm sorry, but I'm breaking up with you, Paul. If you remember this, but I remember this very vividly because it was really weird, but yeah story of my first crush. Okay, now this happened in I think second or third grade and I like this. I'm gonna say all the real names because I don't really care. I don't think it matters. This guy's name was Terrell. There's a Terrell in my high school. It's not the same person. I don't think anyone would even make that connection. But I like this guy named Terrell. Terrell. Everyone just called him TJ. I don't know why. I don't know what his last name was. But they called him TJ. And I liked him. So this other guy I was telling him that I liked TJ. 
So this other guy that I was friends with, I was telling him about it, and he was like, oh yeah, I heard he likes you too. And like my grade six mind, not grade six, third grade mind was like, oh my God, he likes me too. Like, oh my God, we're gonna date. Like, it's gonna be so great. So I was convinced, I thought he wasn't lying because like, who would lie? So I went up to TJ and I was like, hey TJ, Spencer told me that you like me. And TJ was like, I don't. He told me he doesn't. Spencer told me that that guy liked me when he really didn't and that was, that really broke my, my, my chakras, my karma, my atman, my soul, using all my references I learned in religion today, but like that broke my heart a little bit when he told me he didn't like me. Like this guy told me he liked me when he didn't. Like what was the point of that? So I just embarrassed myself and then Spencer's over there on the corner literally dying of laughs. Like he was dying of laughs. Like this was the funniest thing he's ever seen. So that was pretty good. That was, love that. So just know if someone tells you that somebody likes you, verify first. Don't go up to them and say it because trust me, you will be heartbroken. Because most of the time people like to lie and spread rumors that aren't true. And then you're just standing there like, <laughs> like I don't know what to do now. Like I'm already here. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys in today's video as part of this like my first crush type of club. Sorry if the lighting really sucks. Um, for some reason the sun literally sets at 5 p.m. now and it's currently 4.04 and the sun's already going down and there's no lighting in my room because the sun sucks and I wanted to film a bunch more videos, yay. But I hope you enjoyed this little mini story time of cringy things I did as a kid. I know I've done a lot of like mini story times kind of about just like my childhood but that's just because all these are suddenly coming to my mind i'm probably gonna have another yahoo answers type video either out already or coming out soon and then some other videos so be prepared for that so don't forget to check out the other people in this collaboration because they're really cool and i really like them and their videos are probably gonna get be super amazing and I haven't watched them yet but by now I would have watched them and I can tell you from the past that they're gonna be great so yeah that's all they have to say for you I know I was all over the place but that's literally because I'm literally drunk all the time that was a joke I'm literally just like out of it and spaced out all the time but yeah um I hate that noise I don't know I just made it but yeah keep smiling shining and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty bye